Hey guys, today I want to show you in the side of one of these speakers. So, oh, I have a screwdriver. Mm -hmm. We are going to open this up. It up. This is a set of RCA speakers. Sorry for the wobbly voice. It's it's a habit. Everybody has habits these days. going to take the speakers out too. Nothing is wrong with them, but I just want them to show you what they look like on the inside. That is what they look like on the inside. And I have a screwdriver. Which one should we do? Do tweeter or woofer? Let's go for the tweeter because it's smaller. We're only doing one today, sorry. <clears throat> now, in the recent video, um, we took apart a screen monitor and managed to get the speakers out of it. I never even knew a m screen monitor computer screen as you had speakers in there I never ever think it would ever have speakers in there oh, this is a bit hard look there we go and surprisingly it actually moves like an actual speaker isn't that a bit weird? I'll bring you guys up for a look. This is what I look like. Right there. Right there, that's it. Look, it actually moves. It moves like a regular speaker. And it's not vented. It's 20 watts. Hmm. It looks pretty cool actually. So. Change your plans, guys. We can actually take out the woofer. Woof, woof, woof. Only take out one woofer. And just set them on the magnet. Feelings. Look, there is the woofer. Ooh. It's actually quite a decent one, actually. It's a 40 watt speaker. It's pretty 
feel like crazy. Listen. The other one's vibrating too. Weird. There's the mid range and the woofer. Woofery doofery. Woof woof. That is weird. There yeah. they are in all their glory. Same type of magnet. <coughs> Removing tweeter. That's weird. Oh, sorry, there's another this finger behind the big old fifteen inch. So that's a twelve. Look, now go to there. It's much bigger. So that's a fifteen. People say that they actually sound pretty bad, but no, they actually sound pretty good. That's what their magnet looks like right there. Well, this is what the magnet looks like on there. It's a 20 watts. Right there, 20 watts, 8 ohms. Hmm. Hmm. <clears throat> yeah, all three in the frame. So that's what the magnet looks like on the back of the speaker. Right there, forty watts. Forty watts, twelve ohms. I have never seen a speaker that only has 12 ohms. Hmm. It's pretty good actually. It's almost about the size of the port. There's the tweeter. There's the woofer and there's the back of the woofer right there. Lol. Hmm. Boom box right in, in the background. <coughs> what time is 25 past 9? <coughs> yeah. I say these are about like 4 inch. We got foam surround. I think. Is that not foam surround, guys? Weird. I think it is the foam surround. Hmm. It looks like the foam. Got those dimples there when I push down really, really hard. It has those dimples. What about that speaker? Does that have dimples? No, that doesn't have dimples because that's like a rubber surround or something. I took the dust cap off just so you could see the voice coil moving. Hmm. Quite decent, actually. Hmm. 
Hmm. That's got that funny port as well. Right into the box. Yeah. Hmm. And maybe in next couple of videos, I will make a speaker collection video. Right up on top of there. Right up there. It'll be pretty good. But yeah. Oh, and the mole number is. Look up on there. RCA MS5300 speakers. So the woofer is a low frequency. And the main speaker is a high frequency, so apparently that's the main speaker, not a tweeter, because of the low speakers. It just pops right out. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. I know this was a bit of a short video, but I just had to get it done because, let's see. Me and my parents are going somewhere, apparently. I don't know where, though. But, hey. It was great hanging with you guys. Stay lit. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. And he says pretty cool speakers.